Hello everyone, welcome to G5 Outdoors. I'm Tim and today I'm going to show you how to properly install the T3 broadhead. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to install the broadhead onto your arrow. Use the provided broadhead wrench to do so. Remember the T3s are extremely sharp so please use caution when installing them. Remove it from the plastic ferrule the broadhead was shipped in and simply screw the broadhead into your arrow. Once you have your broadhead tightened into the insert, give it a couple taps to make sure that the blades are in their ferrule nice and tight. As can happen in the installation process, one of your blades may deploy. To fix this, carefully press the blade all the way forward, resting the ferrule on the spider clip. Then, using your broadhead wrench, press it the rest of the way until you hear a distinctive click. Now we're going to talk about the process of removing and reinstalling the blades of the T3. This is why we use the tool, so we don't cut ourselves. Washer comes off. Comes off. Yeah, one, two, three blades. The three blades, stainless steel ferrule, spider clip, and washer. To reinstall the broadhead onto your arrow, start with your ferrule and the spider clip. The ferrule and the spider clip both have matching tracks so that it makes the installation easier and that the spider clip does not rotate on it. Then add the washer, which also has a similar track. From there, screw the broadhead into the insert. Very carefully, take the blade and slide it into the track and bring it up to the nose of the broadhead. Do this for all three blades. And then use the wrench to tighten the broadhead the rest of the way. To lock the blades in so that they do not deploy prematurely on you, bring the blade up to the nose, resting the furl right on the spider clip. Using your broadhead wrench, press the blades forward until you hear a distinct click. and your blades have been successfully replaced. Now, if you've pressed the blade forward enough, but it still does not lock in, chances are the spider clip has been pressed too far down. What you can do to fix this is bring the blade out so you have access to the clip itself. Using a screwdriver or a knife, bring the two prongs on the clips and bend them backwards. You don't need to go too much more than a 45 degree angle. Then from there, simply repeat the process, and then you're good to go. Well, I hope this has answered any questions you may have on the T3 Broadhead, as well as helped you in the process of installing them. From all of us here at G5 Outdoors, thank you and good luck.